What factors contribute to the slow decline in the Panama Canal? Bab el Mandeb, a vital economic hub between Yemen and the Horn of Africa, there is presently an unparalleled maritime catastrophe. The how this an armed group with Iranian backing have targeted trade ships with missiles and drones, forcing corporations to abandon their shipping plans and opt for the more direct route via East Asia and Europe. In order to undermine the Houthis' capabilities to clear the Bab el Mandeb, the US and the UK conducted aerial bombardment raids in January. This allowed maritime companies to reopen the shortest feasible trade route. The blockade of the Panama Canal simultaneously impacts 40% of American container traffic and 5% of global trade. Both crises are severely affecting the world economy. Before we proceed, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification icon in order to stay connected. You can support for free by sharing our content to a wider audience and don't forget to drop your thoughts and opinion in the comments section below. Moving forward, the United States Navy considers the Panama Canal to be a critical strategic asset since it allows American naval forces to quickly redeploy across many theaters of operation in the Pacific and Atlantic. The U.S. and Panama jointly controlled it until 2000, with the U.S. holding it for many years. The U.S. utilized the canal to redeploy warships from the Pacific theater into the Caribbean in order to support the naval blockades imposed on Cuba during the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis. The U.S. Navy used the canal as its main route to move men and supplies to the front lines of the war in Asia throughout the Korean and Vietnam Wars. Washington still has a strong interest in the canal, even though it is no longer owned by Washington because of possible great power disputes with China over Taiwan's status. The Panama Canal could save 18 crucial days that could be crucial to guaranteeing the final result of the conflict if China invades Taiwan and launches attacks against American naval bases at Guam and Okinawa. Since the Panama Canal acts as a choke point for global military and economic interests, it is also the most important asset that the government of Panama owns. The densely populated belt of Panama, one of the richest and most industrialized nations in Latin America, heavily relies on the canal. But the canal's condition is deteriorating and its future is looking more and more bleak. With unpredictable climate change, more frequent droughts, and competitive alternatives that could steal its market share, the issue is more geographical and natural. It is crucial to comprehend the Panama Canal's distinct water leveling procedure in order to appreciate its distinctive design. The main source of fresh water for the canal is Lake Gapton, however, it also draws from constructed freshwater reservoirs near Lake Aladuela. The canal may continue to function and offer both strategic and economic advantages as long as rains keep filling the reservoirs. In 2023, Panama, a nation renowned for its El Nido raining climate, went through a very bad drought. A cyclical event known as El Nimo takes place in the central and east-central Pacific Oceans every two to seven years. Trade winds weaken during an El Nimo event, forcing warm water back towards the west coast of the Americas and upsetting the region's atmospheric circulation pattern. October's rainfall was the second lowest in Panama's history since records began in the 1950s due to the drought, which has resulted in 41% less rainfall than previously recorded. Because it was mostly dependent on rain to restock the lakes, the Panama Canal was never intended to account for this drastic reduction in rainfall. The canal's operation requires massive volumes of water from the lakes, which raises the water levels to unsafe levels. Panama is currently experiencing its dry season, so we don't expect the lakes to fill with water until the next wet season begins. Half of Panama's drinking water supply comes from the Lake of Gatton, the country's main water source, which is under pressure due to the drought and excessive water use. By placing ever tougher limitations on its use, the government has been restricting water supplies for the canal. In response to the evolving situation, the Panama Canal Authority has been limiting the number of ships permitted to transit the canal, which is typically open from April to November. However, as the water situation deteriorated, the government had to implement even more drastic measures to curtail water consumption. The Panama Canal severely delays and disrupts trade between the U.S. and Canada's East Coast and Asia, between the U.S. and Canada's West Coast and Europe, and between the U.S. East Coast and the South American West Coast. Ships may reserve their passage up to three weeks in advance or just show up and wait in line prior to the limits. But as the Panama Canal Authority started enforcing its stricter regulations, the average wait times for ships without reservations increased dramatically. They were almost 11 and 12 days, more than five times longer than before. Over 120 ships at a time have encountered the longest wait times the Panama Canal has ever seen in its history of operation. 
Without a reservation, ships entering the Panama Canal face three challenging options. Either pay a bribe to cut through the line, circumvent the canal completely, or find an alternative path around it. The lengthier and more costly routes around South America or Africa, the somewhat longer route through the Red Sea and the Suez Canal, and the concurrent maritime crises around the Suez Canal are the only practical alternatives. These challenges result in unexpectedly higher costs for shipping companies' voyages, which they may then pass on to customers in the form of higher product prices. Proposed alternatives to the Panama Canal are gaining traction again because of the logistical congestion in the canal and concerns about unpredictable climate change creating similar issues in the future. Due to its erratic historical market share, the Panama Canal, a crucial commerce route in the Americas, is currently experiencing difficulties. In lieu of the Panama Canal, four significant infrastructure projects have been suggested for the 21st century. The Bivashana Corridor, a network of paved roads and bridges that crosses Lower South America via Chile, Argentina, Paraguay, and Brazil. This would allow vehicles, as opposed to ships, to transport commodities from coast to coast. The Amazon Jungle and Andes Mountain Range dominate South America's distinct topography, making it impossible to build land-based train connections between the three major population centers. The Panama Canal has facilitated most maritime trade between these regions, even if many of the countries involved still lack adequate road infrastructure. The Bivoceanic Corridor is anticipated to be finished by 2025, directly challenging the Panama Canal for commercial traffic. With latitudes matched in the Northern Hemisphere, the Southern Cone region of South America is the most affluent and productive area of the continent. Trucks from southwestern Brazil will no longer need to use the Panama Canal to import their agricultural products when the corridor opens, allowing them to pass through the Gran Chaco region and reach Chile's Pacific ports. The ability to import goods from Asia will also benefit Brazil and Argentina, easing the need to use the Panama Canal for imports. In addition, the Bioceanic Corridor has the potential to totally revolutionize the growth of the Lithium Triangle region, which is comprised of Bolivia, Argentina, and Chile. The manufacturing of lithium-ion batteries, which will be the driving force behind the transition to green energy in the 21st century, is essential for the creation of lithium-ion batteries, which are believed to contain more than half of the world's known lithium reserves. To sum up, the Bioceanic Corridor may prove to be a valuable substitute for the Panama Canal, saving nations $1,000 for each container and 14 days of transit time. There are now four distinct freight railway networks in Colombia, located in South America, which is the site of the second proposed alternative to the Panama Canal. The Colombian government is currently building the Interoceanic Train, a new rail network that connects the Pacific and Caribbean coastlines. The Colombian government anticipates awarding this project to a company before 2026, which would involve approximately 200 kilometers of additional track, including at least 11 kilometers of tunnels. Nicaragua is the location of the third possibility, which is the Panama Canal, which has been the subject of debate for centuries. The narrow topography of Nicaragua and its close proximity to Lake Nicaragua make it a suitable location for the implementation of such a project. An additional route between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans could be established by constructing a canal that is around 120 kilometers in length and is smaller than the Suez Canal. At first, the United States was more interested in building the Panama Canal. But the chance to do so came about when the country shelved its intentions to build a canal across Nicaragua since the Panama Canal rendered the proposal obsolete. The Nicaraguan government approved a new law in 2012, enabling the establishment of the state-owned Nicaragua HKND Canal Authority. A Chinese business named Hong Kong Nicaragua Canal Development Business, HKND, headed by billionaire industrialist Wang Jing, was given the building contract by the Nicaraguan government in 2013. Due to environmental feasibility assessments that suggested the project could ruin Central America's main freshwater supply, Lake Nicaragua, by introducing salt water, it never even got off the ground. Furthermore, Nicaragua ranks as the 11th most corrupt country worldwide, making it one of the poorest and most corrupt countries in the Americas. In conclusion, Nicaragua has very little chance of building a tens of billion dollar canal anytime soon. And that concludes this chapter. You can support for free by sharing our content to a wider audience and don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, kindly remember to like, subscribe, share, and turn on the bell notification icon in order to stay connected. Thanks for watching.